What up, guys? Today's topic, Glock sights. Now, this is a Glock 19X. Um, all these guns are unloaded. The triggers are already depressed, so we can't pull the trigger. So, the Glock 19 sights are, they're tritium, so they're glow in the dark. Um, uh, well, I'm like 95% sure they're tritium, but... That's what all my other sites are, but see, they're going in the dark. Um, so are all the sites I'm about to talk about. Now, like I said, trigger's already depressed. So these are Trigicon HD sites. Um, these are Trigicon HD sites. These are True Glow uh, Tritium Night sites. I'm the most accurate with these sites in this gun um i'm also pretty accurate with the these sites too on my glock 30. um these are the trigicon hd xr stands for extra range i'm pretty sure something like that uh so the the front sight post is thinner than this one it's um you can see that's a pretty big difference. Here, maybe that'll be. It's it's noticeable. You might not notice it on camera, but in person, it's definitely noticeable. So, I would recommend. Oh yeah, before we get into anything else, these OEM night sights, absolutely horrible. I shoot low left with them. This is the only gun that shoots low left. Um, it's not the barrel. I tried with the OEM barrel. I tried with this barrel. I tried with another barrel. It's not the barrel. It's these sights. I mean, it's probably me, um, but I just can't shoot accurate with these sights. Now, I'm gonna line up these guns and you're gonna see the difference in um, in the brightness of the sights. So this is going to be, these sights are my oldest. They're probably a year and a half, two years old. And then after that, it would be, remember trigger depressed. It would be these sights. So, and then after that, it would be these sites? Wait, I think it would be these sites, and then it would be these sites. Anyways, but they're all pretty much, pretty much bottom at the same time. Uh, so yeah, so we're gonna just do a quick comparison of all of them. Now, these are the three different ones, so they're gonna be in this order, so from my, this is my right over here, my pinky is, and then this is the left. So it's gonna be going Glock 19X, uh, Palmer 80, and then another Palmer 80. But uh, obviously the sights are gonna be different. So OEM, Night Sights, Trigicon Night Sights, or Trigicon HD Sights, and then True Glow, Tridium Night Sights. So that's how it's gonna be in order. I'm gonna turn off this light and you're gonna see, oh shit. Oh, I'm not supposed to be swearing, tweaking. Hopefully they don't demonetize me for that. But, yeah, so, as you can see, in my opinion, the True Glows glow the brightest. Um, so this is still the True Glow. This is still the Glock 26 Palmer 80. Now, I also have the True Glow on my Glock 30. See, they're both really bright. They're both really bright, as you can see. Um... Yeah, I really like the 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 true glows. Cause I shoot better with them, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and well, I already ordered Trigicon Tritium, the Trigicon HD sites from my Glock 19X. I was originally gonna get the True Glow TXF or no T. It's Tritium Fiber Optic. X, so it's it's TFX Pro sites. 
I was originally going to get those, but I went into Cabela's to buy them. And I was looking at them. And I don't know if it was just because I was in Cabela's and there was just a bunch of light. But the tritium was really, really low. Like, it was barely even there. Um, yeah, so those sites are fiber optic. So they glow in the light and they glow in the dark i was originally going there to get them but then i was thinking about it because i wanted to replace these sites because i just shoot horrible with them i'm just gonna assume it's just the sights because i'm accurate with all my other guns even my my stock glock 19 or glock. when this was stock i was still shooting like it after i did all the modifications it's still shooting like that with my Glock 30, I'm really accurate with that. I'm accurate with all my guns. Um, here's my Sig P226. Um, so they also have tritium sights. Here, I'll show you. These are these are really old, as you can see. So they're it's barely there. So. I actually need to replace these sites, but these sites I'm dead on. Um, personally, about this this gun, I don't like the trigger on it. I just when I'm shooting here. So when you're shooting, you pull the trigger, and then the trigger reset is just it's so far, and there's not enough like uh tension pulling it forward so like i'll release it and it won't be released enough to where the trigger reset and i'll pull it and it won't go off because obviously the trigger not reset so it's not gonna uh make the hammer go down and hit the firing pin so i don't like it some people do i don't um yeah that's just my take on it but yeah so tritium does go go out over time this tritium is I want to say nine years old this year. Uh, got it 2014, obviously with the the sights on it. Um, these came factory with it. Uh, pretty accurate with them now, so you know. So yeah, in my opinion, the best the best bang for your buck is gonna be these True Glow night sights these tritium night sights now it's swiss tritium that's supposed to be the brightest and the best uh from my experience it is it is the brightest um but the customer service with true glow i've tried to get some replacement sites for them for for whatever reason and they were like well you need this 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 and this and we don't repair them we like replace them and it'll take like a month to ship or to get to you, whatever, right? And I was like, man, whatever. I'll just buy new sites. It's not even that big of a deal. So yeah. Um, so yeah, so these are these would be the best bang for your buck. These are like seventy dollars or something like that. Um I have a whole tutorial on how to put sites on. Um you're gonna need special or you're gonna need a special tool for the front sight it's like a hex not a hex key i don't know you're gonna just look up glock front sight tool and uh glock sight pusher your trigicon glock sights have, will be delivered tomorrow decent see told you so so yeah guys so in my opinion these are the best bang for your buck um i have used other sites before i don't have them with me but i really like these trigicon hd sites um really fast acquisition with them they glow pretty decent they're decent in the light as you can see they have an orange front sight post now that really draws your eye to it um in uh in the light and they also make one that it's where it's yellow. Uh, so if that draws your eye more, you know, get the yellow one. Um, these are like $150, depending where you get them from. They're going to be around there. Um, 
You could probably look online, find them a little cheaper, maybe $20 cheaper, whatever, you know. Um, make sure you get them from a reputable source. Same thing with the Trichcons, you know, just get them from a reputable source. Get them from a real website, not a sketchy website. And, yeah, guys, I would say the best overall for fast shooting. Now, I can definitely get with, honestly, with these sights, when I put a Glock 17 barrel in this, this is a Glock 31. When I put a Glock 17 barrel, not a conversion barrel, just regular barrel, I was so accurate and so fast, it really surprised the hell out of me. So, this is a 357 SIG. I consider myself a decent shot. I'm not the best. I'm not I'm not bad though. Um pretty good. But I was surprised on how good I did when I put that barrel in. Um so my recommendation if you're on a budget, get these true glow tritium night sights. If you got a little if you want to splurge a little bit, maybe try out these Trigicon HD sights. They also, I was talking about the, the XR the extra, with the extra range. I am, I'm okay with these sights. I'm definitely better with the regular HD sights. So the, the, the HD XR is this one. The sight post is thinner and these are, this one is thicker. This is just the regular HD. But yeah, guys, I would definitely go with these HD sites. Um, and then if you're on a budget, these are still decent. You know, they got the three dot, three white dot sites for daylight and the uh, three tritium for night. Um, yeah, guys, I've shot these guns extensively, thousands upon thousands of rounds. Um, they work. Uh, make sure you put them on right. Make sure you use the right tool to push the rear sight in. Don't just be pounding it with a hammer because you can burst your your tritium and make the vial go dead. So, yeah. And then for the front sight post, make sure you use thread locker. Otherwise, that's coming off. Trust me. I made that mistake before. It was with the the TXO TFO so the the tritium fiber optic sights those were the original ones for from Chuglo the that front sight came popping off and yeah I had to get a replacement um but yeah guys so in my opinion the best for if you're on a budget and you can decide if you're like a really good shot, you know, which one you want, whether they be the HDs or the HD XRs. So yeah, guys, that's it for this video. Let me know what kind of other video you wanna see. No one said for me to do this video. I just wanted to do it before I took these crappy sights off. So yeah, guys, um, be safe out there. Stay strapped, don't get clapped, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's it for this video.